Hi everyone, Christina here. Welcome to another card video. This video covers a couple different things. First, I'm going to be showing you a happy birthday card for the theme for February 2020's mail call. And this is also my second capsule paper crafting card for the month of February. Starting out with the Friendship Bloom stamp set from Gina K and Hero Arts. And I'm going to be stamping the large floral image twice. The first time I'm going to be stamping it onto some watercolor paper. This is Fabriano Artistico Extra White watercolor paper. And the second time I stamp it is going to be on regular cardstock. So I'm going to be cutting down both of these papers to the exact same size so that I can have the stamping in the exact same position as well. So I've cut down that watercolor paper to five by seven, and now I'm cutting down my smooth white cardstock. This is Nina Classic Crest Solar White 110 pound cardstock. I'm going to start by stamping the floral image on the smooth white cardstock first and I'm just using some VersaFine Onyx Black ink. Now this is a very large image, so I took my time walking my fingertips over all sections, and then once all of that stamping was done, I was left with this nice sharp image. For the watercolor paper, I had to stamp it multiple times to get a really good impression on that textured surface, and it did sort of thicken up the lines a little bit, but it's going to work for what I'm doing today. I cut down some scratch paper here that I used in a previous video and I've cut it to five by seven so it's the exact same size and I've folded it in half and I'm going to draw a heart shape from the fold to create a heart template that I'll use on my card. So I'm just using a pencil and drawing the half of a heart and I'm using my five by seven paper here so that I get a really good representation of the size of the finished heart. Use my scissors to trim this out, and then I can place it kind of right over the top to see about how much of that floral image will be contained within this heart shape. Took a pencil and trace the outside of my heart shape, and that is the area that I'll be watercoloring. You may have noticed at the beginning of the video with the finished card that the watercoloring was in a heart shape, and I did that on purpose so that I could cut it out in a heart, but I'm only going to be painting within the heart shape as well. I don't want to um, waste any time, or I guess it really wouldn't be a waste of time because it would be some great painting practice, but I didn't want to spend the time, I guess I should say, painting areas that would be cut off anyway started with this pink shade and I very quickly sort of fell into a pattern of doing two colors on each flower. Um, I started out with the orange near the interior of the petals and then putting the pink on the outer edge of the petals. And I was being very messy putting this in. I wasn't being too precise, just letting that color kind of drop in there. And as it dries, the colors start to mix with each other and you get a really nice effect. For this second flower, I'm using the red shade and also the yellow, and it's mixing those two colors together to get sort of this fun orange shade. When I started painting these flowers and I was thinking of this heart shape, I wanted to make sure that there was quite a bit of saturation of color over this entire area for the heart so that when I cut the heart out, the edges would be very visible. And I also wanted to make it quite colorful. I just loved doing that color chart the other day with all of these watercolor paints. And so I wanted to kind of mess with those colors a little bit today and kind of mix them together and have some fun combinations and make it sort of almost like a rainbow collection of flowers. So I'm adding some green here and then putting this blue right on top. And then for this last flower, I'm doing blue and purple. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the paints that I'm using, if you haven't seen any of my capsule paper crafting videos so far, I am using the Paper Fashion Watercolor Set from American Crafts. It's a nice basic set of colors, and it has really bright colors, which is what I love on this particular card because it's so bright and colorful. Put kind of like a yellow ochre shade on the leaves and then put a little more green on there. And then to fill in the area in the background, I used this dark blue. I think it's almost like a Payne's gray. And I'm putting that in all the areas around the flowers. So it fills in all of those gaps. So after I had all of that painting complete, I hit it with my heat tool to make sure it was completely dry. And then I removed it from my hardboard and went around that drawn heart shape that I put on with a pencil and just trimmed out that entire shape. 
and then I'm left with this really nice heart and I can place it right over the top of my stamped flowers on the smooth cardstock and I have a really cool effect. I'm going to trim down this white cardstock first just so that it's a little bit smaller than a 5x7 card and that's so that when I mount it on the card base it has a little bit of a matted look. Created my card base out of that same cardstock. I just scored it at five inches. Then I put a bunch of foam tape on the back of my stamp piece and put it directly on the card front. I then took my watercolored heart shape and took a little bit of time. I didn't want to rush this. I wanted to get it in the exact spot that lines up with the floral stamping on the smooth white cardstock. So I don't recall what this technique is called. I'm sure it has a specific name, but I just love this look of having the continuous image over two surfaces. I'm then taking the occasional label stamp set from Mama Elephant, and I'm going to be using two different greetings from that stamp set. It says, happy birthday to you from me. I thought that would be kind of fun, or from me to you, I should say. So I'm stamping that in the same black ink onto that white cardstock, and then I'm trimming it down with my scissors. I trimmed some little skinny strips of foam tape to put behind these greetings and then put it directly onto the front of my card. So that finishes my birthday card. This is um, or was prompted by the theme for Mail Call in February 2020. If you would like to participate in Mail Call, I'll have a link down below. And I'll also link up in the top here uh, in the corner a video that I did showing the January 2020 cards that I received from all of you. The theme for that month was Love and Valentine's Day, so there's just so many cards to check out. On screen, I've got three more videos for you to check out. These are going to be watercolor videos, just different types of cards using watercolor paints. I hope you'll click through some of those and get some more card inspiration. Thank you so much for watching today, especially since this kind of went up on a strange date. It's going up on a Saturday. Thanks for tuning in, and I will see you guys in another video very soon.